Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties online, in person, and with art kits. So I have my root beer out. Um, hopefully you have your favorite drink, and we are going to be painting something Mardi Gras. So I hope you'll enjoy it. I came up with a design. Like I said, I'm starting a brand new book where um, I'm creating different things. So I have something kind of cool that's happening in here that I'll share about later. But um, let me know if you have a place where you put all of your designs, where you're drawing them up for your paint parties or what you're gonna be doing um, online. I'm gonna try to get this right here so I can see it while I create it for y'all. So go ahead and say hi as you're here. Hey, Colleen, hey, Harley, hey, Wendy. Um, good morning, Tina. Thank y'all so much for being here. So I'm gonna be painting live and then I'm also going to be sharing um, three things about overcoming fear with your business and with painting. So whether you are just painting, hey, Karen. Oh, we have Cricket from Louisiana. Um, lemonade with mint. Oh, that sounds good. Very good. What's y'all's favorite drink right now? I'm kind of, I know it's not the best, but I'm addicted to root beer. <laughs> hey, Lori from Rockdale. Awesome. Um, I'm addicted to some root beer and coffee and so i definitely need to up my water game for sure i was like yeah i'm kind of feeling sluggish it's probably the coffee and the root beer if i'm just going to be honest and um, so i'm going to point my camera like this and then i'm going to start creating a mardi gras painting so for those of y'all that have um, never painted with me before let me know who you are i would love to hopefully see your comments and say hello and then also oh oh i do have some paper plates here Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Look, I'm so prepared. And um, also for those of y'all that are, um, that have painted with me before, and um, Darla says green tea. Um, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here. If you are in Paint Party Headquarters and this turns out great, don't worry, I will um, take a picture of it, make a tracer for you. For those of y'all that are new to me and you want to learn more, um, go ahead and just type free gift because I have a really cool training that has to do with um, how to do your business where you can start it online and teach your paint parties. So if you're wanting to learn more about that, just put free gift and we'll come back later and add it. Hey, Debbie. Oh, uh, hey, Sandy. Oh my gosh. I used to do that bulletproof coffee. It was really good. I used to do that for a while. Mm. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just kind of get my... I might have to do it in white so you can see it better, but I'm just kind of getting the drawing going and then I'm going to fill it in. Okay. And as I'm doing this, oh my gosh, Cynthia, first time watcher. Well, welcome. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just the, the drawing I kind of came up with was, and again, this could turn out like crap or it could turn out really cute. So we're just going to try it because I really want the mask to kind of be the focus here, right here in the middle. And you could do this on a canvas. It almost looks like lips for a second, doesn't it? You could do this on a canvas too. I'm just using a piece of wood just because I had it here. It was a, an old um, design from a painting before. And so I'm gonna just draw my mask on just so y'all can see it. Then I'm gonna start adding some Mardi Gras stuff, okay? Well, obviously the, mar the, the mask is Marty girl too. Yeah, y'all can tell when I start to freehand paint, I start to concentrate a lot more, huh? <laughs> I start to get quieter, which is not normally like me. Okay, so we have our mask kind of started. And then I'm going to start the part of the, um, oh, good. A lot of y'all are wanting the free gift. That's great. And um, oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Paula, for saying that. You're so sweet. Okay, so I'm going to start here and just kind of get the Florida Lee. Am I saying that right? I don't want to mess it up. I want to get the Florida. This is kind of like the, the holder for the Florida Lee. And then I'm going to have some mask stuff too. So I'm just kind of getting the basis of it here. My Louisiana folks, if you'll let me know if I said that correctly. <laughs> Oh, we got from California here. We have Curly on. Linda, hi. Amy's on here. Oh, great. Yeah, we'll send you all the free gift. We'll make sure to add that in a little bit. Oh, I think Amazon's here. Oh, my dog's going crazy. Hold on one second, y'all. Let me try to get this on here. I might have to calm down my dog. Oh, 
Okay. Guys, I'm so sorry. Let me go calm down my dog. I'll be right back. If y'all don't mind, talk amongst yourselves and know that this is not finished. I'll be right back. Blue. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm so sorry. Oh, he's still, he's still a mess. I'm so sorry, y'all. Thank y'all for waiting. Um, thank y'all for talking to each other. I am so, so sorry. So y'all, we had the post office and I had to pay them um, like a postage amount. And so she was waiting for that. And then Blue, I was running. Blue is going crazy. So I am so sorry. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. So let me let me get back to painting. And then as y'all come on, um, if you're wondering where I was, we're live. We're live. <laughs> I know poor Blue. He is my um, he is definitely my guard dog, that's for sure. He will he will not not let people get near our house without causing a ruckus. Okay, and I wanted to share something with y'all. I gotta get my gotta get my breath. I was running. I'm not not usually running a lot, so <laughs> I have to get my breath. But basically I'm just kind of making this fun here. I'm gonna fill this in in just a second, and then I'm gonna add some fun little things into the mask as well. Okay? All right, how's everybody doing? Y'all good? And <laughs> blue is a cutie. I know I gotta keep him on my lap or he's gonna he's going to um go crazy so it's like it's like um you know everybody working from home with their kids at their house you know and toddlers or teens or dogs <laughs> they go crazy and you're trying to do something online it's definitely real life here so i might have to do another live and just talk i wanted to share the overcome fear with your business i wanted to share that do y'all still want to hear about that let me know if you want, let's do this. Let's see, um, and we'll, and I'll either do another live that just focuses on that, or if you want me, and Darla says your house sounds like mine, but I have three dogs. Oh my gosh, well, thank y'all for understanding so much. I'm so sorry. Um, so let me know in the comments, do you want me to go ahead while I'm painting this, talk about those three things with overcoming, or do you want, um, 
<laughs> Anita, yeah. Me and Christy both have our dogs. We're definitely dog people. Um, or do you want me to um, just paint? So let me know, like, just paint, like, get to it. Or while you're painting, talk about those three ways to overcome. So I'm going to kind of look at your your comments while, and we'll just to kind of take a vote. So let me know. And I just did the white first so I could kind of get a, an outline so y'all could see it really well. So you kind of know what I'm going for first. And y'all know I'm pretty good at multitasking, so... Okay, so we got go for it, just paint, talk about ways to overcome. I want to start a business. Um, oh, good, Nicole. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to talk about it too. Wow, and I might do another one later, not today, but another time. Okay, so while I'm painting, and again, I just freehanded this really quick. So if I, if I made it perfect, obviously it would look way better, but it's freehanded right now. And then I'm just adding in some colors. So what I wanted to talk about really quick with y'all, and I'm gonna use some festive green, okay? And this overcoming fear with creating and your business, this goes with those of you that are watching me that are just painters. This also goes with those of you that are watching me that are wanting to do stuff about an online business, a paint parties or an online business. So let me know in the comments what you think the two biggest things people are scared of, okay? What are the two main things you think people are scared of when it comes to either creating a business or paint or just painting in general? What are we scared of? Because it's, it's pretty universal what we're scared of. Anybody know? Oh, thank you, Shelly. She says your stuff looks so fun to do. Thank you. And Teresa, Blue says hi. He's hanging out because he was barking up a storm. Got to hold on to him while I paint today. Just got to sit in my lap. Let's see. Not being good enough, Jennifer says. Okay. And failure. Patsy says failure. Deborah says failure. Yeah, very good. The two main things is rejection. Did y'all know that's like one of the biggest things people are scared of is rejection? And the second thing is embarrassment. Okay. So when you're putting yourself out there, rejection and embarrassment are two of the biggest things people are scared of, okay? So what I want you, I'm gonna give you three, three different things that's gonna help you with this. Number one, know what you want out of the next five years, okay? So if you're trying to be a better artist or you're trying to you know, start a paint party business, whether it's online or in person or art kits, whatever that is, know what you want out of the next five years or what you want your life to look like in five years. So, so many times we're thinking about what other people are thinking of us. You know, we're thinking about, oh my gosh, I'm going to be so embarrassed if I post this and then nobody says anything or nobody likes it. But guys, the, the battle with doing anything and doing anything successful long-term is what? What do y'all think it is? What do y'all think that is? Yes, yeah, speaking in from your peers. Okay, good. Oh, good. You're reading Big Magic, Kim. Yay! Read Big Magic. <laughs> I know there's cussing in it. It's okay. Read it. What do y'all think that is? It's consistency. It's being consistent. Yes, Annie got it. Consistency. Being consistent even though you're scared, even though you feel rejected, even though you feel embarrassed. You want to bring your best all the time so that when you show up and when people see that you are still doing this and you're still staying strong, finally Blue's going to have a little lay down, <laughs> but they're going to eventually go, oh my gosh, like she's for real or he's for real doing this. Maybe, you know, and your name's going to start coming up when you're consistent, when you're all over the place, then people don't really know. They don't know what you're really trying or what you're really into or what you're really doing. So being consistent is so important, okay? That's going to help with that rejection and embarrassment because you're not really going to keep tabs on who's not, you know, supporting you and who's not helping you. And that's what kind of goes to number two. Number two, don't wait for external praise to do a good job. Okay, so how many times do you have something you want to do, but you're like, ah, oh, 
again, that embarrassment comes up and you don't know if you want to do it because what if they don't like it? Okay. So like right now I'm freehanding this and I'm sure there's some of you that are way better. A lot of you that are way better artists, way better artists than me. And you're like, oh my gosh, that girl, she's not the best artist. I've never claimed to be the best artist. I know that, but I know that God gave me this talent to use to heal, to make money for my family and to use to teach you to make money for your family. So I'm not going to shy away from it. I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to love it. I'm going to just do the best I can every single time. So you have to think about, okay, so don't wait for external praise. If I waited for external praise, I am going to be let down every time. Okay. You have to remember that it's about you. It's about you growing. It's about you showing up. It's about you making a difference in your life, in your family's life, and how that can eventually help other people. So when you show up and you want to start a business or you want to start getting really good at painting, you got to practice. you got to be consistent and you got to keep going. Okay. So that's number two. Don't wait for external praise to do a good job. Be the best and practice being the best every time. Hey, Melissa. Yeah. Okay. There should be a replay later. So if you're here live, if you'll just put live, so I know you're here live. And if you're here watching the replay, just put replay. So I know. Yeah, I create, I, you can totally be so critical. I think we're always so, so critical. Um, and then um, Beverly says, a positive attitude is important. Yes, so, so important. Robin says, do you um, sell the stuff you paint? Sometimes I do. It just depends. But usually, um, usually they're samples for paint parties, and then I'll do them as a paint party event. Okay, so I'm just going to add some kind of purple into this, too, to just kind of bring it up. So number one, know what you want out of the next five years. So most people are scared of failure because of, they're overcome with fear because of rejection or embarrassment. But if you, number one, know what you want out of the next five years. So like I've even had people say to me before, they're like, um, one girl was really thinking about moving to a certain place. And I said, it was a different state. And I said, well, where do you want to live in five years? And she's like, well, I want to live in that state. And I'm like, well, why are you waiting years to do that like if that's what you want to do like make a plan and make it happen and so i think sometimes we uh, you know of course you want to be smart about it you don't want to just do it and then not have any money to support yourself or whatever but you got to make a plan and make steps because you don't want to look back on your life and go there were all these things i wanted to happen so think about what you want out of the next five years if you want to be a better painter then what do you need to do this week next week the next week you need to practice painting or it's not going to happen. And I'm just adding in a little purple, y'all. And then I'm using my one inch brush and I'm just kind of going over it to get some shading. Just some little shading here. And um, another thing, the second thing, don't wait for external praise to do a good job. This is so important, especially if you're worried about embarrassment or you're worried about rejection. Because if you're worried about embarrassment or rejection and you're waiting for external praise to make you make another move to have you, you know, take another step towards your business, you are totally wasting your time. And as you come on, um, oh my gosh, we have so many people here from Washington. Um, yeah, Debbie, it can totally be a financial goal. That's awesome too. I mean, I have my financial goals always written out. I have goals for everything all written out and I have them to the left of my computer so that I can see them every day. There's something about like when you goal set and you write out clear goals and then you look at them every day that makes a big difference too. It's like your mind's trying to figure out, okay, we got to stay consistent if we want to hit this goal. And it's reminding you, it's like what you track, you know, gets measured and what you measure gets improved. So you got to keep tracking it. You got to keep measuring it. And that way you can keep improving it. So, um, and then the third thing, failure, I want y'all to hear this. Failure is just as important as having success. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay. What do I mean by that? Failure is just as important as having success. You have to fail in order to be successful. I know it doesn't feel good. I know it, it feels embarrassing. It feels hurtful. All of these things come into mind, but guess what? 
the people who fail the most are the people who are failing the most. The people who are fail the most are the people who are the most successful. So you cannot, cannot have success without failure. And guys, it took me a long time to learn this. I was so like, fail, I failed all the time and I still fail to this day. There's something I'm working on right now that is a complete failure, a failure that I am tweaking and changing and turning around. But you have to keep at it. That's with anything in life, whether it's business, whether it's something personal, whether it's a hobby, you have got to fail and keep failing and you've got to get comfortable with that feeling. Now, a lot of people will not get comfortable with that feeling. And because of that, they will never succeed because they won't take the risk and get comfortable with feeling embarrassed or feeling rejected in front of other people. And so I want to share with you guys how important it is to start getting comfortable with that feeling. So those of y'all that are just joining us, if you want a free gift, I have a about a um, 15 minute free video that talks about, you know, starting your own paint party business. If you'd like to have access to that video, just put free gift and then we'll come back in and we'll add that. And um, Janice says, we learn from our failures. So cool. And um, Kay says, got to learn to crawl before you run. Oh my gosh, I love that. And um, Jennifer says, hello from Maryland. Your videos are great. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Marilyn. And um, let's see, Sandy says, wow, I'm going to be um, huge because I failed a lot, but I keep going. Sandy, that is very true. That's the thing. I, I hear all the time, so many people want this success whatever their definition of success is. And you've got to remember that, guys. Your definition is, of success is different than my definition of success. My definition of success is different from Wilma's def definition of success. Um, Wilma's is different from Penny's. Penny's is different from Debbie's. Debbie's is different from Carla's. So here's the thing. When you start thinking about what you want in life, and I think this is an important thing, too, Make sure, and I'm just using a liner brush to add some white highlights, y'all. Um, make sure you know what you want. Like, know what you want out of life first before you start going to all of these goals. Because what I did was, like, I know I want my days to be filled with creativity. I want my days to be filled with, with um, painting. I want my days to be filled with um, teaching others, like, how to help their family, which is what I do in Paint Party Headquarters and teaching others how to help their family with making creative stuff like this, right? And I know that that is important to me. I know that that's what fills me up. I also know that I love swimming like crazy. Like, and, and success to me is having time to go swim. Success to me is having time to go to the beach. Success to me is finding, you know, really cool crystal clear springs and jumping off of big cliffs into caves. I don't know why I love that so much, but I do. It's just something I love. And so I know success to me is like, okay, can I plan that adventure a couple times a year? You know, I get excited about the planning as much as I do the going. And so, you know, if that's success to you, you know, some of you are probably like, no way I don't want to jump in a cave. You know, I'm not that person. But, you know, I'm also a person, you know, that, that likes the journal. I'm an adrenaline junkie type person. So you have to think about what success and what a fulfilled life looks like to you. And then from that, start taking the things you love and plan them in. And then when you have such a strong conviction about what you want out of life and what you want to have happen, that rejection and embarrassment is going to go away. Because here's the thing. A lot of times we think so many people are watching us or looking at us or seeing how we fail, right? We're so worried about what everybody else might say or think about us. Emily, I'm from Texas. Hello, hello. <laughs> that we won't take a step. But really, at the end of the day, they're busy. They're doing their own thing. And Carla says, I've been getting my art studio ready to take that next step, but I'm a bit scared. Carla, what are you mostly scared of? Let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can help answer that. What are you mostly scared of? Are you scared of the rejection piece? Oh, thank you, Amy. Hey, Cherie. Are you scared of the rejection piece? What's your main thing you're scared of? 
I'm going to try to catch it before it goes. So I'm just bringing these up, as you can see. And just kind of filling them in. Hey, Renee from Georgia. And for those of y'all that want to learn more about having a paint party business, either online or in person, type free gift and we'll send you a, a free video. Yes, the rejection. Okay, Carla, did you know paint party business is in a way kind of like any kind of marketing when it goes to like real estate or stuff like that? Because here's the thing, a lot of real estate agents, they get scared of the rejection or they put themselves out there and they're like, wait a minute, this is a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be, right? Like people actually got to know that I'm a real estate agent for this to work. <laughs> the same thing with the paint party business, even if like, so like, let's say a real estate agent puts a house up for sale and it's, they're trying to sell it for six months. Well, every time they post about it, every time they talk about it, every time they they say something about it. Guess what's happening? They are telling people that they're a real estate agent. Okay. So every single time that happens, I don't consider it a failure. Yeah. They may have not have sold the house yet, but every time they post about it, every time they say something about it, they are telling people that they're in this, they're a real estate agent. So guess who comes to mind? when it's time for them to sell their house or when they have a neighbor that's looking for a real estate agent, they're going to go, Oh my gosh, Michelle, she's always posting. I have a friend, Michelle, who's always posting about real estate. And my mother-in-law is a real estate agent. <laughs> she also helps us in Bay party headquarters. But I, um, I just, you know, I always think of Michelle because every time I'm on Instagram, there's another beautiful house she has posted. Has she sold that house yet? I don't know. I have no idea. But every time I look, I know that she's a real estate agent because she's posting about it. She's saying it. Same thing with you, with you painting, with you showing up like this. Yeah, Christy says, I'm a real estate agent and teaching paint parties. It's all scary. Just do it. Yeah. And, and Christy, isn't it true? Like you just got to take action through fear, even if you're scared. Um, because putting yourself out there, like we said at the beginning, the two main things people are scared of are rejection and embarrassment, right? So rejection and embarrassment, those are the two main things you're scared of. Well, I, again, you know, don't want to look back on my life when I'm 90 years old and go, you know, my grandma's 92. She's about to be 93. So, you know, longevity obviously is in my family. <laughs> and so I don't want to look back on my life and go like, dang, I was nervous that, you know, so-and-so was going to say something if I posted this. So I never reached my goals because I was so embarrassed of what so-and-so might have said or, you know, whatever excuse we have. Like, I do not want to look back and realize that I had my life dictated by a bunch of possibilities of rejection. Not even true rejection. The possibility of rejection. Now, I don't know if this is helping any of y'all. I hope it is. For those of you that are scared out there, for those of you that have um, that embarrassment feeling, for those of you that have that rejection feeling, guys, you know, me on here painting, yeah, hopefully this will be, you know, a paint party that gets done by somebody in paint party headquarters or even my own paint party. But even if it doesn't, right now, you know I am serious about this, don't you? You know that I love to paint just from this one video, you know, that, you know, if somebody wants to do an online paint party, if I wanted to do, which we have, you know, this coming up pretty soon that we're going to do something really cool with this um, barn quilt, which we'll be inviting y'all to. Um, but there's so many things like, you know, that I am all about this. You know, that I always am either talking about paint parties, about business, about, you know, how you can do your paint parties better, how you can do your online paint parties better, how you can paint something cool. Like that's my focus all the time. So whenever, oh good, I'm glad this is helpful. Thanks for saying that. And um, so whenever you're, you know, out there and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to be rejected. It's almost like you, like we talked about at the beginning, you got to fail. You got to fail. You got to fail. <laughs> it's you got to get comfortable with failure. And the more you get comfortable with failure, the faster you're going to be able to gain success. And that's what it's all about is learning and growing 
and not really caring if an old high school friend or what if my neighbor or somebody from church sees me painting and doesn't think I'm good? No, who cares? Who cares? If you know in five years you want to be doing something cool, whatever it is, take action and stop using the fear of rejection or embarrassment to get in your way from not doing it. So, um, so anyway, I hope that helped you. And then this right here, guys, um, let me see if there's any comments. Um, Sharon says, go with your gut and go for it. You only live once. And this life is very temporary, y'all. And um, do what you want to make yourself happy. Rejection is not a permanent thing. Be persistent. I love that. Rejection is not a permanent thing. Um, in the beginning, I prayed, Elaine says, I prayed for boldness. And I, I promise God gave me boldness not to have be fear or embarrassed. I love that. Oh my gosh, that's another thing too. If y'all are really, really struggling, I know a lot of y'all are really struggling with um, getting your, your business going or even just the fear of like painting or that confidence. Um, pray for that. Really pray for that because you really want to, um, you know, we, we, have, we all have a talent. We all have a gift that we can share. But if we're so scared to share it, we can't help anyone else. You know, just like me freehanding this, and I know it's not perfect, but me freehanding that and getting on here and even talking about this, this literally, um, you know, could be too scary for me. And if I was too scared to do this, then I'm not able to share that with you. So again, I just want to recap. If you um, are, you know, trying to overcome fear with your business or with painting and you want to do some cool painting stuff or you want to start your painting business or create a business or whatever it is, and the two main things people are scared of is fear and their fear is, um, rejection and embarrassment and then i wanted the three tips that we went over so if you're just on for here oh michelle says this is so good spot on for me i'm so glad i'm so glad that it's helping you and um, stephanie also says that's really is great advice because those that judge don't pay your bills either <laughs> i i love that that is so good um so number one know what you want out of the next five years Success doesn't happen overnight. It's not a lottery ticket. It takes time. It takes consistency. But all I know is like, I know what I want my life to look like in five years. And I know I need to do certain steps to get there. So I'm going to be consistent and I'm going to persevere because I don't care if somebody's on the background judging me. That's, that's between them and God. That's not between, that's not my business. And number two, don't wait for external praise to do a good job. Get on your lives, do your YouTube channels, whatever it is, whatever it is in your life that you need to get better at, do it. And then just be the best that you can be when you do it. Okay. Show up, serve, do a great job. And then three, failure is just as important as success. So will you fail? Yes. Over and over and over. <laughs> will you fail? Yes. Okay. And um, so right now I am streaming to Facebook. I'm also streaming to YouTube. And um, for those of y'all that don't want to just stream into Facebook, there's so many other places. Um, YouTube out there right now, for all of y'all watching on YouTube, I just want to say a hello and a shout out. And um, but guys, you have got to just remember the fear and rejection that just that embarrassment feeling of rejection get that out of your head and know that is a part of it and start getting comfortable with that feeling of failure i know it's not fun i know it doesn't feel good but it is truly such a big part of success and anybody that's successful that says they haven't failed is lying through their teeth it's just part of it it's like learning to walk you're gonna fall so i hope this helped you and for those of y'all on paint party headquarters if you like the design I'll take a picture of it and post it in there so y'all can have it. And um, for anyone else, I hope y'all have a great day. If you want to learn more about doing your own paint party business, either online or in person, just put free gift and we'll give you a link to um, a free training you can have. All right, guys. And Blue says bye. He's, he caused a ruckus in the middle. So I apologize about that. <laughs> y'all have a great day. Thanks, guys.